freaking zombies with freaking laser beams on their head. Headshot! Boom! Welcome back to Cut No Corners. I am Corbin. And I'm Joe. And today we are going to be playing Warzone, specifically Zombie Royale. Zombie Royale! Neither one of us has played this game mode yet. It's a temporary game mode. You've probably already seen a million streamers play this. It's awesome. It'll be our first round, and you're witnessing it now. I haven't even done a warm-up. Don't die on me, Corbin! Uh, I've already killed two people. Woo! The rules are similar to Warzone in the sense where you have a closing circle. Oh, all right. Oh, Jesus Christ! I'm getting mauled to death by zombies. Okay, okay. So there's a closing circle. You want to be the last surviving team, just like in Warzone. But instead of being sent to the gulag when you die... You become a zombie, you can melee people to death, apparently you got a gas grenade, EMP blast, and a charged jump. Ooh, and you got a tracker. I don't know what that means. Tracker's where you can see footprints. You can pick up a couple syringes as a zombie. If you pick up two syringes, you uh, get to respawn back as a human. That was it though, we just died. So now we gotta back out. We just lost. Well, that was easy. I mean, our teammates could buy us back. That might be what's be happening now. Did he just buy you back? Oh, he bought me back. All right, so our living teammates just bought us back, and I'm going to try buying you back. While Corbin does that, I'll explain what topic we're going to cover today. Recently, and I say recently, and it was about six months ago, I think, a channel, a little channel that you all may know, called Mr. Beast, he gave away a million dollars. And he had a bunch of challenges that these people had to go through, and then they ended up four people qualified for the million dollar round. And in the million dollar round, all they had to do, real simple, was stand with their hand on a pallet of cash that totaled $1 million for as long as they could. Yeah. It was four guys, and the last one to take their hand off won a million dollars. I actually hadn't heard of this. I don't know how I hadn't, but I know a lot of you probably have. Well, they did that, and they stood there for a total of, I think it came out to 44 hours, and they all that just got right. super <laughs> tired. And eventually, they just brain farted and lifted their hands. That's how, like, all three of the people who got eliminated. They just had brain farts, they lifted their hand, and then, yep, the one guy who stayed won a million dollars. And the guy seemed to deserve it. He was in a rough way, so it seemed like it went to a very deserving person. But we're going to tell you how we would spend that million dollars. Yeah. And we're going to cover it in two different categories. We're going to go one, extremely practical, what we would actually do with a million dollars if we won it today with our, in our current living situation, and one, wholly impractical super fantasy realm. Why am I jumping in on a squad that's already being killed by another squad? I was wondering if you'd come back as a Zambi again. Apparently you do. I like that you just fall flat. <laughs> so a little more background. The guy who won, he ended up with $850,000 because they took your coach got $100,000, and then he gave 50000 He promised it to somebody else in the competition if he won. So he kept his promise, and he ended up coming out with $150,000. What he spent his money on, he bought various electronics for his family that totaled around $30,000. He bought two cars, one for himself, one for his wife, that were hundred grand total. He bought a house, which was $165K. You'll say, $165K for your house, that's it? Yeah, but... After all this rest of this stuff, you'll see why it was only 165k for his house. He spent 100k to put all the furniture in his house. That included all the big ass TVs and stuff. And then he, with the rest of it, he put away 40% of it for taxes, which totaled about $360,000. And then he invested and saved the rest of it to make sure that he didn't just spend all his money and then he was back at the same square that he was when he started just a million dollars down the drain. So Mr. Beast actually made sure that the guy was in a good way with his money. He didn't just give him a million dollars and split, which is very nice of Mr. Beast. He seems very generous, very giving, which is good to see. Um, yeah, it's nice to see <laughs> somebody, uh, you know, doing generous stuff with their money. Especially for a dude who's only 22 years old. This scenario seemed pretty interesting to me. I mean, we've all seen those, like, competitions where... You know, whoever holds your hand on this car the longest gets the car. And, I don't know, I just, instead of a car, a giant pile of money. And I just pictured I would totally just put myself in horrible health condition sitting there as long as possible. 
just completely depriving myself of nutrition and sleep uh, for a million dollars. Anyways, that's just the first part that obviously everybody would try their best at. But tonight, talking about what we would do with the money if we had the shot, what was another important rule? I mean, when you first told me about it, basically, they were told they had to spend this in 24 hours, the whole million? The second video was spending the million dollars in 24 hours. I don't know if they actually had to spend it in 24 hours. He spent it all, but it wasn't, like, spent because some of the stuff he had to order, if that makes sense, but... I mean, you still got to spend it to order things. Yeah. So, you got 24 hours. What are you doing with your money, Joe? I mean, you got a million dollars and just 24 hours to spend it. What's happening? So if I'm going to spend my money in 24 hours, in this first one, I'm going to go with the practical route. So what I would actually do today, if you gave me a million dollars with my current living situation today, what I would do with it. Right now. So the first thing I would do, 400K, whoop, right off the top, into taxes. The second thing I would do immediately would be pay off all my debts. For me, that's about $200,000, and that includes my house. So that pays off everything I owe, and I am no longer indebted to anyone in the world. And then the third thing I would do is buy a new house. Now, I wouldn't sell my old house. You'd rent it out or something? Yes, exactly. I would pay to have my house professionally managed in order to rent it. So that gives me another string of income that I really don't have to work that hard for because somebody else does all the managing of it. They get you a renter, they yell at the people to give you the rent. You basically just collect a check and they do all the hard stuff. Right. Sounds practical so far. I would take 300k and buy a new bigger house. I have three kids, so <laughs> I need a bigger house. Um, I would probably end up financing some on top of that, so I would be back in the debted world. Oh well, it would be the only debt I have, so it would work out. And then the last thing I would do would be 100k for all the furnishings of that new house, and that would include one badass gaming setup. Or would you would you upgrade to the PC Master Race? I would get a PC Master Race, but I would still have a PlayStation 5 in my gaming setup, so I could play all of the games anytime I wanted. All on like three 4K monitors, maybe an 8K one. Ooh, we be getting it. Yeah, I was gonna say if you got the money, I'd be slying two of those fifteen hundred dollar uh, Nvidia cards. Ooh, it would be <laughs> the most intense graphic computer money. To buy. <laughs> all right, sounds pretty good. That would spend all of the money that I had, and I would be in a pretty good place. I'd be very happy. I would still have to work, because a million dollars isn't really enough to retire on, especially at the age of almost 30. So I would set myself up, have another passive source of income, so I didn't have to worry about it. So that's how I would spend my money. If you had to spend your money in a very practical means today, you were given a million dollars, 24 hours to spend it, what would you do? Million dollars! First thing I'm doing, I mean, I'm hiring an accountant because they're going to know what to do more than I am. I've never had a million dollars before. They're going to know what's intelligent to do, like investing and whatnot. The first thing I'm pretty sure a lot of accountants are going to say is become debt-free. Student loans, like for a bunch of you out there, I'm sure is a huge thorn in your side that's just sitting in the back of your brain when making any monetary decisions in your life. So I would crush this, not only the student loans of me, but also my wife's. Because uh, that's pretty sizable. And uh, the interest is keeping it sizable. And then, you know, take care of our cars. Any credit card debt that's left. Just wipe it out. And then that would probably take up a chunk of, out of the million, maybe like 140000 gone there. I would probably, I mean, the remainder with the... With the investments, we would. I would take out some. I'd probably give some to my parents, pay off a bunch of their debt. Uh, and I'd probably give some to my siblings too, just my sister. Um, maybe my in-laws as well. And beyond that, I know for a fact, still keeping it in the practical area, I'd probably get another couple motorcycles, uh, at least two. Of course two. you would. It's yeah, it's. I mean, they're really they're relatively cheap when you consider. I mean, out of a million dollars, I mean, you could buy. Something faster than a Ferrari for $15,000. I mean, that'd be like basically my plan. The rest would, whatever's remaining, and it's probably going to be sizable, maybe I would actually set up some sort of vacation, like book some sort of thing. I mean, once Corona lets us have vacations again, you know, we would book something, maybe a tour of Europe. And uh, beyond that, the remainder would all be going into investments, something that has a guaranteed gains of at least 10% a year. And yeah, what the f- 
I just, a zombie landed on me as soon as I landed. And I only had my pistol still. Looks like Jigsaw. It is Jigsaw. Yeah, that's part of the skins. There's Jigsaw, there's also Leatherface from Texas Chainsaw. And there's some other one too, I didn't see who it was. So now you've heard what Corbin and I would buy from a practical realm. Pretty practical, pretty boring, but it sets I mean, us that, that's the smart thing to do. If you get... I, Nobody right, wants yeah, to the hear smart the thing smart thing. They want to hear the cool thing. <laughs> All right, so what would be your cool thing? I've named it Fantasy Factory slash Stuff Made Here. So I love this new channel. This guy, uh, he makes a ton of stuff in his basement. It's called Stuff Made Here. He has cool machines. He made a basketball hoop that you can throw a basketball at anywhere on the wall, and it'll move, and you'll make it 100% of the time. He made a baseball bat that was basically a gun attached to a baseball bat that would you'd hit a baseball, and then it would shoot the ball out. Hmm. His channel is pretty new, but pretty awesome. So I would mix that with rob deardex fantasy factory if you've ever seen that show minus the skate parky parts so what i would do here's how i broke it down i googled how much does it cost to build a factory so it's anywhere from 35 to 100 dollars per square foot so i went right in the middle 67 dollars a square foot and i said how much factory can i get for five hundred thousand dollars taxes are not a thing in this impractical realm all right that's about a 7,000 square foot factory. Nailed it. Let's go. So now I have $500,000 to do what I want with. So I said, first thing, we're going to get a badass setup so we can make some badass videos. So I, I put 50K to get a gaming work setup and cameras. I think 50K is more than reasonable for two people to set up. Look, I even got you in there, Corbin. <laughs> Sounds good. Help me! Revive me! I'm trying. My hero. Ah, shoving a needle in my leg. So after I get the computer set up, all that infrastructure in there, then I would put a $200,000 portion of it for some badass foam pits and trampoline parks like Sky Zone. Foam pits? So you make like an obstacles courses and stuff? Heck yeah. And that would be awesome. So if you've ever seen Fantasy Factory from Rob Deerdeck, he does all that stuff. Get some mini bikes in there too jump them off the ramps oh it would be great oh yeah you could get some honda groms just little those little mini bikes or whatever so i'm getting 200k in foam pits and fun sh <laughs> to just have so much fun and be awesome so after i get all that stuff i got about 250k left and i'm gonna take 150k to make the stuff made here workshop you got 60k for a cnc 30k for a plasma cutter 6k for a 3d printer 10k for a lathe 10k for a ba bench saw 7k for a band saw Hydraulic press. I leave like 30k for random materials to make some stuff. I don't know why, but I feel like th what you're describing, factory and all, is over one million dollars. These are numbers I literally looked up for these machines. All right, fair enough. That does sound pretty badass. For my impractical, I would get some sort of house where the entire house is like <laughs> you kind of already took this, but like obstacles and like rope courses and like the second floor would have a slide, like a water slide that goes out from your bedroom out to your pool. <laughs> I would also have like a garage, like a big garage. It looks like an airplane hangar. And I would have it with a <laughs> load of motorcycles. And I'd probably have like two cars that I want, like like a Challenger Scat Pack and a, and a Miata Club, uh, both stick shift, of course. Yeah, I, that's where I blow my entire million on. It doesn't have to be a mansion. It just has to be like a decent sized house that probably is going to cost like 500000 And then the rest I would blow on a huge garage built next to the house on the property. And building this slide and the pool <laughs> and the obstacle course. Like you got to have a solid stud and foundations for all the ropes and obstacle courses and stuff. And I'd probably own at least 30 motorcycles. So why not 52? 52 motorcycles, one a week. Because some of them are going to be pricey. Like Keanu Reeves motorcycles, his company with Arch Motorcycles. Each one of his bikes is 75 to 90 grand. So I'd have like one of those maybe. And then the rest would all be existing motorcycles that are all ranging from 5,000 to 15 to 20,000. So that's what I would get. So Corbin's going to become a monkey in a zoo with a badass water slide and a ton of motorcycles. Yes, and then be broke <laughs> afterward. I'm going to have a fantasy factory slash badass workshop. What would you do if you were given a million dollars? Yeah, if you had to blow it in 
24 hours, yeah, you could think practically, invest, get an accountant or a financial advisor. Who wants to do that, though? Yeah, if you gun to your head, you had to blow a million dollars. You weren't allowed to invest. You didn't save. What would it be? Let us know what you think of our decisions. I think they're pretty awesome. But hey, you might think they're dumb. I think our picks are pretty on point. Yeah, but yeah, let us know in the comments. So remember to like, comment, subscribe, help keep this channel going. We're enjoying it so far. We'd like to keep doing it. We're already past a thousand minutes in viewership, Whee! so that's pretty sweet. But yeah, that's all thanks to you, of existing viewers. Uh, tell your friends. <laughs> <laughs> also, tell us what you'd like us to, to talk about in the future. Add any sort of ideas and maybe we'll give a shout out. Cover your topic. Whatever you want. Yeah. So this has been Cut No Corners. I'm Joe. And I'm Corbin. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.